iPhone 13 Face ID fails to unlock after replaced new screen has attracted widespread attention. But besides the IC chip, are there any other parts affecting Face ID function? Today, we will make an in-depth test. Remove Face ID chip from screen. What will happen to screen functions? Here is the iPhone 13 genuine screen with genuine chip. Input a metal sheet and a screen flex to prevent the screen from damage. Remove Face ID chip from screen with hot air gun. Install screen back on the board to test the functions. Power on successfully. Screen light up but it can't be touched. It indicates Face ID chip is also a touch control chip. We will not remove the remaining chip again, because from above test, we can see the remaining chip in charge of display function. If we remove it to test, screen won't turn on, then we can test nothing. Because there isn't any aftermarket screen for us to test, we are not sure if this method also works on aftermarket screen. According to elder generation iPhone repair experience, the answer should be negative. However, because Face ID unlock iPhone apps and use it to confirm payment has become an essential using habit of iPhone users. Aftermarket screen factories are probably to produce them with the same chip bonding pad distribution in order to support restore Face ID function through chip transplant. Before iPhone 13 lineup, Face ID will stop working if sensor flex get missing or damaged. So what about iPhone 13 without a sensor flex? Power on. Enter Face ID page and test the Face ID enroll function. It works perfectly. Try to unlock iPhone with Face ID. It also works smooth and fast. We found the True Tone function has been lost. In the end, try to unlock iPhone in dark environment, meanwhile with lowest screen brightness. Face ID works very well as normal. Therefore, lack of sensor flex will not affect the Face ID enroll and the unlock function, even in dark environment. We found the True Tone lost. No doubt that sensor flex has an impact on True Tone function. But will True Tone recover if we replace with the other sensor flex? Here is a sensor flex of the other iPhone 13. Remove genuine sensor flex and install the new one. Install screen and power on. The screen brightness is very low. Auto brightness doesn't work. Let's adjust it manually. We found the true tone lost again. Continue the test. Auto brightness not work. It means environmental sensor function failed. Also explain why screen brightness didn't go up after power on. Through telephone call, we found the screen will automatically turn off. So distance sensor function works well. Replacing a new sensor flex will cause auto brightness fail. But the distance sensor function still works. Meanwhile, we found the true tone lost again. Combined with the last video, we can see both sensor flex and the face ID chip bound with partial true tone data respectively. As one of the core components, if we remove front camera, what impact will have on face ID? First, enroll face ID data in advance. Unlock smooth and true tone available on screen. Then disconnect the front camera flex and reboot. Phone was powered down and unlocked successfully. 
seems the face ID has nothing to do with the front camera. To verify this deduction further, enter setting page and re enroll face ID. Enroll completed and face ID works. So we can see face ID has no connection with the front camera at all. Enter camera mode and swift to front camera. No image appear because front camera wasn't connected. Through the test, we found the front camera has nothing to do with Face ID. If your iPhone 13 has front camera problem, Face ID still can work normally. In the end, let's compare all iPhone 13 lineup for models chips. Face ID chip appearance on iPhone 13 lineup is basically the same. As for display chip, 13 mini is very similar as 13, and 13 Pro is similar as 13 Pro Max. There is slight difference in size visually and unlikely compatible with each other. We will do more tests in next videos. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel and share with your friends. If any video topic you want us to upload, please leave message below. We will try our best to make it happen.